Hey guys, welcome back to How to Be Bad Guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a code, okay, engine light on and code P, uh, P2197, guys, stay with us and we'll show you how to fix that. This one will be on any car, guys. We'll demonstrate on a Ford Edge, but it will work on any car. P2197, guys, it relates to oxygen sensor, bank 2 sensor 1. This is the upstream sensor. Let's go ahead and diagnose the system. I'll show you how we're going to test everything with that cheap scanner, guys. Find it listed in the description of the video below. So let's go ahead and start on the process now. So every vehicle we get guys at the shop will make at least 200 videos. Why guys? Because our mission guys is to save you as much money as we can. We have that fold. Okay, I'm going to connect the scanner here. Okay, super easy. Just plug it in. Very, very cheap scanner guys, but it does amazing job for what it is for what it is. I will start the car now, okay, and I want to show you how we have the engine light on now. Okay, the car is started. Okay, and check out the engine light on just stays on, guys. No matter what I do. Now, when diagnosing the system, what I recommend, turn the ignition off. Uh, engine off, turn the ignition on. You have the lights on, but the car, okay, will not be running. Next, guys, I will go to diagnose. Okay, diagnose. Now, once it loads, you're going to see that we have engine light code related problem. DTC, this is code stored in the computer one. We'll click OK, we'll click read codes. Okay, we're waiting, waiting. And you see P2197 guys, it says oxygen sensor signal, okay, bias, tuck lean, bank 2, sensor 1. And if I scroll down, we still have the same code, one is current, one is pending. Pending is about to reoccur again. So, what is causing that problem guys? Bank 2, sensor 1. This means that this is on the second cylinder head sensor one this is the upstream oxygen sensor i'll go back okay let me go back and we'll go to data stream but at that point i will start the car okay the car is running now and when the car is running okay i'm just going to go to data stream to see live data i want i want to show you how we know that the oxygen sensor is bad for sure we'll click view graphic items and now we have bank one, sensor one. This is on cylinder head number one. The upstream oxygen sensor is good. And we have a code for bank two, that cylinder head number two, sensor one, that's bad. So we can compare both of them now, guys. Okay, I'm going to go, okay, this is the good sensor on cylinder head number one, sensor one. This is the bad sensor, cylinder head number two, <coughs> side, sensor one. If I select both of them, the red one indicates the good sensor, the right one is the one that we have problems with, the one that the code relates to. This is the bad, this is the good. Check out now when I rev the car how the voltage should be compared to, okay, the bad one compared to the good one. They should be about the same, guys. Okay, oxygen sensor, upstream oxygen sensor should go between 0 0.095 volts and 0.915. It will go up and down fluctuating. Check out the one that's bad, that's bank 2 sensor 1, okay, it just guys stays stuck, you can see it doesn't go up at all, the highest value it went to was 0.265, okay, check it out, nothing guys, nothing happening there, so that's definitely a bad sensor, this is the replacement sensor that we have, we're going to put it together now, and we're going to see if that's going to take care of the problem. So we replaced our sensor, I'll turn the ignition on, then we're going to go to erase codes guys, right here, erase codes, stay with us. Okay, we're going to confirm that we want to erase the codes, perfect, okay, it's erasing now, processing, and it's going to take just a few seconds, perfect, has been cleared, okay, amazing. So. Now guys, I'm going to go to data stream, right here again, and we're going to compare both of the sensors after we replaced ours. 
Okay, and see if that takes care of the problem. Okay, we already replaced ours. Bank 1, sensor 1, let's select the same sensors again. Bank 2, sensor 1, that's the one that was bad. I'm going to start the car now. Okay, you can see no engine light on. No engine light on. And check out now the sensors on the left. Okay, and the... And the right side, guys. They're almost identical, check it out. How they go up and down, about the same, guys. So that definitely took care of our problem. Hopefully the video will be helpful, guys. Please hit that subscribe button for more videos and see you guys next time.